Okay, so in this video you're going to be using skills that you used within Hangman's 7 part 1, 7 part 2 and 8 where you're looping through the guesses and including functions. To be able to do this I'm going to go straight to the end of our code so I've got it full screen so we can have a look at it. What we're going to do is edit this while loop. We're going to ha make sure that this while loop is continually going unless we otherwise state it. And to break it we'll have to use either a break command or you'll have to go look in the system's functions, but I'll explain more about that in a second. So we're going to allow them to choose whether or not they want to continue their game, even if they've succeeded in finding the word, or if they've lost it and they've completely failed. So I'm going to end game false. So this while is now going to just continue looping until they've chosen to end the game. So while end game is equal to false, it's going to keep going. Now because I'm changing my code I'm also going to change my comment on it because it's not going to keep looping until they found the word anymore. It's going to keep looping until they've chosen to end their game. Right. So we're going to use this flag, we're going to use this variable end game to make sure that this makes a little bit more sense. So it's going to print the dashes, it's going to tell them how many guesses they've got remaining, it's going to tell them everything on those lines, but it's not going to say that the game is over or anything or change the statement. So congratulations, well done and give them the choice. You've completed it, would you like another go? Okay. Unfortunately I can talk faster than I can type. It's the same with everybody. So what we're going to do is get their again answer, might as well call it that one, and get an input from them to say um, play again and we'll give them the options Y or N. So hopefully they'll type Y or N in. We can put error checks on it afterwards, but for the pointless of this point of this demonstration, if oh don't need the bracket, if again is equal to, so double equals n, they don't want to continue again. They want to break the game. They want they don't want another go at hangman. Don't blame us after this point, by the time you finish testing, you'll be thinking the same way again. So we'll set the end game to be true, because now they've chosen to end the game. Right, else, oh, it didn't indent it. There we go, it's got to be in line with the if. Else, um, well, actually, I don't want to put what you have to do here because that's a bit of a cheat. Um, okay, so I'll put it in comments of what you're going to have to break this down to because you've created functions, you've also created loops that will help you with this bit. You're going to want to generate a new chosen word, you're going to want to calculate the length of this new word, and make sure that dashes is changed to it. So I'm going to have to give you a hint, it's a bit unfair otherwise. We've got code already that does this. Okay, It's in everybody's hangman at the moment. If you scroll back up to these lines, just before the functions, you select a random word from the list. I'll select it, it might make it a little bit easier. You'll want a function that probably called generate word, but you can change the name of it, that will also find the list length and create that dashes block for you. Okay, well that's only if you've finished the game. If not, you want to keep going because you could have failed. Your false guesses could equal 10 now. So elif is like putting an else and an if together. So you've got another option called else, but you've also got a criteria you want to put on it. So you've ended your game. Uh, probably don't want to know them to know that they've completed the game of Hangman. but they do want to have the option to play again or not. Now you'll notice the exact same code can be used underneath, so what, this is why I'm suggesting a function, because the more you repeat it, the more you've got some extra code that you're probably never going to need. Good luck!